This is a free Visual Basic programming tutorial brought to you by vblearningzone.com. For lots more tutorials just like this one, feel free to visit our website at vblearningzone.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about events and properties, specifically got focus and lost focus events the four color, back color, and font bold properties. We'll look at the object browser, the different VB color constants, including VB red, black, and white. And I'll show you how to get any color using the properties window. Let's begin by creating a brand new standard EXE. And we're going to learn a little bit about events that are attached to different controls. For example, We've already seen what happens when we click on a button, on a command button. But other controls also have events that are associated with them. For example, let's add a couple of text boxes to my form here. I'll add two text boxes. And a couple of labels. All right, let's make this first label here our first name. I'll change the caption property to first name. And the box, the name of the box here will actually be first name, no spaces. And we'll do the same thing for the second box. And we'll get rid of the text in there too. Where's the text? We'll blank that out. All right, the second box, the caption, last name. And the text box. We'll blank out the text, and we'll make the name of the box last name, no spaces. Now, here's what's going to happen. Right now, nothing. Right, We could type some stuff in here. Nothing's going to happen. What I want to do to illustrate how text boxes have events associated with them is I want to say, that, okay, when the user clicks on the last name field, I want to see a message. All right, let's just say for now, you know, the last name field has focus. It's called the focus. When you move from one field to another, it's called moving the focus. So let's see how that works. All right, let's double click on this last name field. When we do, the code name opens up. And it says here, last name change. Now, this is an event that runs when the last name is changed. But I don't want that event. Let's drop this box down here. See where it says change? Drop that box down. And what I want to find is got focus. All right, click on that, got focus. Now that creates a new block of code here. And we can get rid of this change. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I just want the got focus event. Got focus is going to fire whenever that text box gets the focus. In other words, when the user clicks on it or when they tab to it using the keyboard. And so what I'll do is I'm going to say in here, message box, last name has focus, just like that. And that's all for now. Let's see how that works. Let's save our project. And I'm going to create a new folder in here. I'm going to click on the Create New Folder button. I'm going to make a VB103 folder. And I'm going to put my projects for VB103 in here. Okay, and let's call this my, um, I'll call this my student form. We're going to make a student form out of this one here. I'll hit Save. All right, let's run this and see what happens. All right, hit the Run button. Oh, well, we've got to save our project, too. Let's call this my student project. Just student. All right, here's my form. Right now, I'm sitting on last name. If I click on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sitting on first name. If I click on last name, there's my message box. It pops up. Last name has the focus. And now I can do some stuff on here. That's fine. If I leave it and then come back to it, let me come back to it with the tab key this time. Tab, bing, and it pops up right there. See that? Whenever a last name gets the focus, that event runs. All right, now what about instead of popping up a message, why don't we change the properties of that text box somewhere? Let's get rid of this message box. And let's say in here when you get the focus, how about last name dot four color? See all the properties in there? There's a whole ton of them if you scroll up and down. There's four color, there's font size, all these things. Let's say last name dot four color equals VB red. Enter. Notice how VB red changed the capitalization there. Right? That's a special reserved word. There's VB red, there's VB blue, there's a whole bunch of different colors. And if you want to see a long list of them, come up here and click on this thing on the toolbar. This guy right here is called the object browser. Click on that. 
that opens up this thing. All right. And if you look on this list on the left-hand side here, you'll see a whole bunch of different categories. The one I've already clicked on here is color constants. And there's all the list of all the color constants, VB black, blue, cyan, green, magenta. All right, see that? And you can feel free to, to scroll around through here. We'll be looking at this more in future lessons. All right, but here's some of the things like ambient properties, right? There's um, checkbox stuff. There's collections. There's a whole bunch of different stuff in here. We'll talk more about the object browser as we continue through our lessons. All right, but let's say there, last name dot four colors you be red. How about last name dot font bold equals, now there's true or false, we'll go true. And how about last name dot back color equals, is there a, let's see, is there a VB yellow? Okay, there we go, VB yellow, let's try that one. All right, now, there's the got focus. What are we going to do when we move off of that box? Well, there's also a lost focus event. All right, now how do you get to there? Well, here's got focus. Just drop this down and find the lost focus. And VB will create another section of code for you. Now, basically, we need to put it back the way that it was, right? Which basically is last name dot for color equals VB black. Last name dot font bold equals false, and last name dot back color equals VB white. All right, that's how it starts off. And of course, if you change the properties of that box, we're using the properties dialog over on the side there. You'll have to actually change that in here too. But that's how we can change the properties with code. Let's save it and run it now and see what we get. Okay, here we are. First name, last name. Now, remember, there's nothing associated with our first name field, but when I tab over to last name, look at that. The background goes yellow. And look at that. We're also red. And if I tab off it again, it switches back. See that? Okay? So that's the got focus and lost focus property or uh, events, and also the properties we can change. For color, back color, font bold. There's a whole ton of them. We'll talk more about other properties you can manipulate in future lessons. Now, what if you decide you don't want this exact shade of red? I mean, that's a bit too bright. Or you want to go a little bit of a darker red. Well, what you can do is you can come in here to the form itself. All right. Let's, um, here, I'll just copy this one so I don't accidentally change it. I'll just copy that and put some text in there. Okay. Now what you can do is, using these property selections over here, change the properties to whatever you want. So for color, for example, I'll click on a little arrow here. And I'll switch from system over to palette. Palette lets you pick from the color palette. All right, maybe you want a little bit of a darker shade of red, like that. Okay, and then maybe, you know, let's go, let's go just a hair lighter. There we go. Okay. And then maybe a foreground color. Uh, that is a foreground color. Let's go with a background color over here. Let's switch to palette. We'll go with a really, really light shade of yellow. Okay? Now, here's a color I've got right there. It's in hexadecimal. All right, that's what that ampersand H means in front of it. That's a hexadecimal number. All right, but what we can do is we can take this, we can select it, and just copy it to our clipboard with Control-C. Right, Control-C, copy. And now I'll switch back to my code up here. Now, that was the foreground color, so I'm just going to come over here and get rid of VB Red and paste that in. There's that value that I copied and pasted. Now, when you click off of that line, it's going to convert it down. It's going to shorten it down a little bit. That's fine. Okay? I'll do the same thing with the background color. All right, here's the background color I selected right here. I'm going to copy that. Control-C. And I'll paste that in here for VB Yellow. And that gets converted to that. Those are hexadecimal values. Do you have to know what hexadecimal is right now? Not really. It's base 16 math, that's all. Computers like, like base 16. We'll talk more about it in a future lesson when we're actually converting between hex and, and decimal. All right, and here we are. And now I'll type in my stuff. And you can see I got that slightly darker shade of red. Okay? And that's how you can... Basically, you just have to know how to copy those values off of the properties window if you want something different than one of the built-in intrinsic values like VB red or VB blue. You can simply create a control, select the value using the palette, and then just copy and paste the hex number. That's all you really have to worry about right now.